All right, Alex, thank you for that update. Well, for the last few weeks, we've been talking about the different preparations that schools across our area are taking for the start of another academic year. While these stories all talk about the physical preparation with supplies, decorating, and training, they never mention a spiritual one. In Calhoun County, a high school, all the high schools held a prayer service to pray for students, faculty, and administration. WCBI's Parker King went to a few of these schools to tell us what community members are taking from the event. It's another way to prepare schools for another year of classes. To lift up the students, the support staff, the administration, uh, that they would just follow God's leadership. The high schools in Calhoun County each held their own prayer service to spiritually prepare school and community members for the upcoming school year. I believe it's important to pray uh, for students and teachers every day, but just to get our school started off in a, in a positive way. Um, also to just get community members into the school. Um, that's a vital aspect for any healthy school culture. Instructors and administration hold these events out of both concern and love for their students. Kids in this day and time are receiving a lot of instruction in a lot of different ways, and a lot of things that are not positive anymore. And uh, you know, just positive leadership uh, helps direct them in the right path. Society has tied the hands of many leaders like me um, with what we can and cannot say to students, but we can still live and model our life after a life of Christ. Faculty can still find a way to show students a positive example, and it's not always through words. That they um, know or get to see a um, type of life that um, it is humble. Uh, it is putting others above themselves and uh, is willing to serve others and um, being kind, loving, and all the values that uh, you know Christ in his life um, tried to model. That was Parker King bringing us that report. School starts soon for this area, and according to community members, this was just another way to make sure the students are ready for another transition.